Leaders of far-right parties from across Europe have been meeting in Warsaw to discuss how they might work closer together to reduce the EU's decision-making powers. Hungary's Viktor Orban and France's Marine Le Pen were among those to attend the summit, which was hosted by Poland's ruling Law and Justice Party. We want a completely different union, said MEP Tomasz Poreba. It's not the directors in the European Commission to decide on how we should live. This is to be decided by sovereign governments. But while it was easy to unite attendees against Brussels, the parties have many differences, notably over Russia. And Le Pen acknowledged that establishing a common front wasn't easy. It takes work. It's not as simple as submitting a French political party to the prefecture. So we are working on it. And once again, we are continuing to advance. A small group of protesters branded the meeting a Russian pact and called the delegates traitors. One goal is to form a common group within the European Parliament, but some analysts say the image of unity is illusory. This meeting, but with our one aim, to boost their uh, popularity and despite diverse objectives, uh, diverse ideologies, they will try to uh, stay together for as long as they can for one purpose, not to be ultimately redundant in the next European parliamentary elections. All right. Although no detailed plan of action emerged, the leaders said they were satisfied with the progress that had been made. Just a few weeks ago, Poles feared and protested against a possible poll exit. However, this event seems to take Poland one step away from leaving the Union and one step closer to building a common national front within the EU, where Poland hopes to play an important role. Magdalena Hodownik from Warsaw for Euronews.